Hi team, Mr. Rato here. Hope you're well. Okay, today we're going to have a look at using um, graph questions, but going to have a look at um, the tough questions that come up and some of the stuff that you need to use that you've learned earlier in um, the chapters of this book. Okay, so find the value of a for which y equals x squared never touches uh, this graph. So y equals x squared never touches this. Okay. Um, Let's first of all use uh, do simultaneous equations and sub this into this. So where will they when they touch this equation must equate with this equation. So I'm going to replace x, I mean replace y for what this graph y represents. So y here equals x squared. So I'm going to replace this y for x squared so I can make these two graphs equal each other. Okay, so that will give me x squared equals a minus now what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to expand this graph out so i'm going to end up with getting x squared x times minus a and then double it's going to give me minus 2ax and minus a times minus a is positive two negatives make a positive two become one and that is a squared and then I'm going to take or take get rid of this bracket by negating everything in here. So I end up with getting x squared equals okay. So that's going to be a minus x squared minus minus becomes a plus two ax. Yeah, and the minus uh, plus makes a minus a squared. And then let's take everything to one side. So we are forming straight away. A quadratic equation so this minus let's just do this in a different color so we can see all this this minus x squared is going to be plus onto this side so that's going to give me 2x squared um, well the x's I've got I've got these x's which I'm going to take to the other side is a plus so that's going to become a minus uh, 2ax and then I've got the constant, which is a minus a, uh, a minus a squared. So let's do the opposite of that. So minus a squared becomes a plus. Let's give it a plus a squared, and take the a to the side, which is going to become a minus a, which equals zero. Okay. So we're getting there. So we've got a quadratic equation here. Okay. And what we need to know is when we need to find the values of a for which this curve never touches this. Now, if this curve never touches this, then we're saying that this has no solutions. Uh, uh, so curves never touch implies. No solutions, or shall we say no? Let's do that again. So that implies we say implies no real solutions, which implies b squared minus four ac must be negative less than zero because we can't square root a negative number okay so if we say that we can then say this coefficient of x squared is two coefficient of x is equal to minus two a and see the constants here are going to equal a squared minus a so what we can do is sub these values into this discriminant, okay? So we can get minus 2a all squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2 times c, which is um, a squared minus a. We want all those being less than 0. So straight away we're going to get, here we're going to get 4a squared, 
Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8 with the minus is minus 8. Minus 8 times a squared is going to give me minus. So don't forget this is a squared. We got eight times minus a squared is minus eight a squared minus minus becomes a plus that gives me plus eight a which is gonna be less than zero. Simplifying this, so I'm gonna get um minus four a squared um plus eight a zero I factorize this get minus four a out and that will be a in here so I'm just going to cross this that's going to be two so that's going to be minus four a squared minus minus plus eight a okay so I've got that factorized the reason why I do that I'm going to quickly just sketch that graph here Let's just do that. Different colors. So my roots are going to be zero. X can be zero, and A can be two. This is a negative quadratic. So a negative quadratic has a side face. Okay, negative quadratic. So it's going to go up, and back down. And these values are zero. And this value is two. And these are the values of A. So we want all the values when this graph is less than zero so when it's less than zero we want all these values going along here when the graph is less than zero so we can say all the values when a is less than zero and when a is greater than two so when we're looking back at the pattern we can straight away say values of a for which they will never touch are all the values when a is less than zero and um, a is greater than 2. Okay. Right, what does it say? Show algebraically that the line y equals kx plus 5 intersects the parabola y equals x squared plus 2 twice for all values of x. So intersects twice. Okay, now before we do anything, the same thing what we did in the previous question, let's make them equal. So I'm going to say x squared plus 2 is equal to kx plus 5. So we're equating these two with a straight line in the parabola where they intersect. So we equate them. Okay, so we're going to algebra it and we need to show that it's always two um, we get two roots it's, it's twice it's always two roots here okay so that's what we need to go so let's make a quadratic equation so bring everything to one side we get x squared we get minus kx because this is a plus kx we take it to the other side becomes a negative and this is a positive five take it to the other side becomes a minus five so two minus five is minus three which is going to equal to zero now again we're using the discriminant and uh, we're going to work out b squared minus 4ac now we're just going to work this out at the moment and then make a decision whether it's going to be positive negative or zero um, and then that will help us i'm hoping it's going to be greater than zero it's going to be always end up positive and that will then show that if this is always positive we always got two roots okay so discriminant, I'm going to work that out. If, we can also say if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, this implies um, there are two different roots. Okay, so two different so look at it. I'm just gonna go at this first of all. Okay, so first of all, um, let's get the coefficients um, of this quadratic. A is one. B is equal to minus k, and c is equal to minus uh, three. And then if we put it in our discriminant formula, just gonna put a box 
maximize it here and then you should know that this is called a string net okay so let's go in let's go for it b squared minus k i'm gonna square this minus four a is one c is minus three so minus k squared is going to be positive k squared minus minus becomes a plus and that's going to be positive 12. now straight away you can tell that k squared whenever well anything being squared is always going to be positive and then we add in something now you can then say this is it's always going to be positive it's not even going to be equal to zero the minimum value here minimum value of actually looks like one word there let's just do that again so straight away you can tell that the minimum value of this is 12 Okay, that's the minimum when k equals zero, which implies that k squared plus 12 is going to be always above zero. It's always going to be positive, and therefore, um, the therefore the will always always be two solutions okay as the discriminant is also due to this fact okay and it's greater than zero there's always going to be two roots okay so they must intersect twice that's it that's all we need to show that